Because I like to copy Lance Egan's fly patterns, you need to check out the Thin Mint version of the Half Wit Leech. It's balanced. Dude, that's a big brown So this is a variation of Lance Egan's Half Wit Leech, Balanced Leech. And uh, this is my Thin Mint variation. I've done really well with this color scheme. They're super easy to tie. And I really just like having the Thin Mint color uh, in my box because I feel good about it. it. Makes me feel good. It makes the fish happy. Um, anyway, so if you've never used any of these offset beads, the advantage to this versus a regular bead or even a, a slotted bead is that this will sit over the eye of the hook a little bit. And while it won't balance perfectly level, it will be balanced somewhat in the water saves you a step rather than have to tie on a pin. So this is uh, Lance's brainchild. Fished it in some competitions a couple years back and <clears throat> did really well. We've done really well with this, also in his black and red version. So it, it's a great style. I've also fished it in a minnow variation. We'll list the materials in the link below for all the versions. And uh, you can kind of pick the color scheme that works for you. So I'm going to just secure this bead with some thread wraps right behind it. And now the thing that makes this a thin mint is our minty combination of the UV fluorescent, fluorescent melon, fish hunter marabou. Good stuff, and then some brown. This is the brown UV, but you could use any brown. I also have used fluorescent green or chartreuse on this uh, combo, but uh, this minty color is is really good. It's just light. I like it. Uh, so what I want is the body to be about two times the width, the the length of the shank. So we've got one, two, and then buckle my shoe just to be on the uh, bend of the hook and then I'm just gonna clean this up here a little bit sometimes I'll go up to behind the bead, but this one has a different collar, so I'm just going to leave the that area as is. So, got the tail. We need a dubbing loop now. All right, I am looking for Cheech's fancy dubbing. Here it is, dubbing twister. This is basically an infinity-powered top. This thing spins like crazy. I'll show you in a minute. If you don't have one of these, get one. It's great because it spins. It, it literally spins for five minutes if you put it on your table. I'm going to create a dubbing loop here, probably about for this size, which is a size 10. I only need a couple of inches of dubbing loop. And we'll just secure that in there. And wrap up. So, two colors. I like the combination of the eye stub and pheasant tail, and then this trilobal dubbing, fiery brown. This is a good mixture because again, we're going for the thin mint coloration, which the body is typically going to be brown. And so I just grab equal parts of the uh, two dubbings here, and we'll just put them in the loop. So we've got the dubbing mix there. And I'll do this in two chunks. Take the first chunk and insert that into the loop. Take the second chunk. And then we'll just kind of spread them out so that we get good coverage. And then normally what you do is you just grab your finger right up above and then you give that twister a twist 
and it just you can feel it going like crazy in there it dubbed up a nice tight loop <clears throat> now what you need is a velcro brush like this stompho combo tool and just brush out a little bit of the fibers so that it gets a buggy look to it and then we can just dub the body real simple here's where you, you can't see it but off camera there's a the handle on this the crank handle on this master vise so nice now we're just going to go up to right behind the bead there and that's the body i can brush that out a little bit more too nice and leachy and then the final piece is just going to be some ice dub and chartreuse and this acts as a collar you can use that in a dubbing loop if you want i usually just uh, rope twist it on and then brush it out and then we'll do a few wraps right behind the bead to lock it in there and then we whip finish and I usually give that a couple of whip finishes just in case that bead moves and then another brush out and this will just pull these chartreuse fibers back and kind of meld them into the, the body here And there we are. That is the Half Wit Balance Leech in the Thin Mint flavor, which is very tasty. The link below has the materials list. And check us out on the website at flyfishfood.com. And also like and subscribe. Subscribe so we can make more of these tasty videos.